Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to generate and plot discrete time signals in MATLAB. In particular, we will generate following signals, the step signals, unit RAM signal, exponential signal decaying half to the power n, then exponential signal minus half to the power n, then sine wave, combination of two sine waves and sync wave. First, we will show you the simulation result and later on we will discuss how to find the code for that signals. Now, I will show you the simulation results. So here, this is your discrete time signal dot m file. This is your unit step signal, that part. And then we have the RAM signal part here. And then this is your half to the power n exponential signal. This is minus half to the power n signals. This is your sine wave part. And this is a combination of two sine waves. And last one is sync function. Right now we'll play. So this is your unit step signal. Right? And so then you will get the next figure that's the unit RAM signal. This is R of n. The next one, this is half to the power n un exponentially decaying signal. And figure number four, this is minus half to the power n, it's alternate signals. This is your sine wave sine of 0.1 pi n. This is combination of two sine waves, one low frequency, one high frequency. And this one, the sync function. Okay. So we'll discuss all the signals one by one. So first one, so if all the codes will start with these three lines clear all, close all and CLC that we discussed previous lectures. Now for in step signal, we'll define the range, the negative side N1 minus N1 and right side plus N1. So small n will consider minus N1 colon N2. If you imply that in, for this case, minus 10 to plus 10 with increment one. So remember for discrete signal, N is always integer. In contrast to that time domain signal representation in MATLAB, there will use some increment here. But here increment is one only. For in step signal, we'll use this logical operation n more than equal to zero. So this simply that if this expression is satisfied, then only this value is one, otherwise its value is zero. So it's imply when n is positive side means n is more than equal to 0, then only it is 1, and left side it is 0, thus it is unit step signal. And to float that one, we'll use stem command, S-T-E-M, stem, stem n, n is a, this one, indices, okay, samples, and unit that signal, unit step signal, and we can put the color, so red is, R stands for red, okay. So stem and plot, these are two different comments. Plot will use for continuous time domain signal and stem will use for discrete time signals. We can add X level, Y level, title on the X limit and Y limit. X limit is a range for X range, X axis, minus N1 to N2. And Y limit is the range for Y axis. Here I have considered minus 1 to 2. Now this is the plot for this code, small code. And you see this is this axis is sample n that I have considered here, sample n. Y axis is U of n. This is a title, unit step signal. And these are the plots. So you see when n is more than equal to zero, this side it is always one and left side all are zeros. So this is your step signal. Similarly, you can draw the RAM signal. In RAM signal, you know that it is a growing signal, linearly growing signal. So R of N 
equals to n for right side. So that we have written in this way. It is a n multiplied by this factor, this n more than equal to 0, these logical functions. So that will give you u of n. So n into u of n is your actually RAM signal. So here you should put dot and star because n basically a vector, row vector and this this one is also a row vector. So you need to take element wise multiplication. Thus dot and star. Right? And this thing is similar. We'll use stem, x level, y level, title and y limit, x limit. And the figure will get like this. So it is increasing slowly. Okay, linearly. So from at 0 it is 0, at 1 it is 1, 2 it is 2, 3 it is three, like that. And left side it is 0. So this is your unit RAM signal. Similarly, half to the power n, un. So only difference is that here. So this function half to the power n, we need to multiply with dot star n more than equal to 0. So this is either 0 or 1, this value. So right side is 1, left side is 0. So left side is truncated and right side this exponentially decaying function will be multiplied with 1. Okay. And this is the set. It is exponentially decaying. First one is 1, second one is half, then it is half square means 1 fourth, then one half to the power q means 1 8, like that. It is decreasing. Okay. And it is going towards 0. Now, if I consider minus half to the power n, similar thing. So, function is here only minus half to the power n. And you see the safe. Safe is like this. First one is n equal to 0. That function value is 1. And next one is minus half. Negative side. Next one is again positive. Plus 1 fourth. Then minus 1 8. Then plus 1 by 16. Like that. It will alternate. Okay. Plus and minus. Then it is going towards 0. Next one is phi or sine of Sine of 0 0.1 pi n. So this 0 0.1 pi, this is your omega angular frequency. For discrete angular frequency, this, this unit is only radian, not radian per second. Okay. So this is the waveform. Okay. Same thing. This is the function and we can plot it. Now here we have considered n1 equal to 40, n2 equal to minus 40 to include more number of samples. Okay. So that only we have shown. So uh, there are how many cycles? One, two, three, four. Four cycles are there. Okay. Then we have combination of two sine waves. One is that one, sine of 0 0.1 pi n. Another one is 0 0.02 pi n. So this is lower frequency. This is a higher frequency. And low frequency signal is having more magnitude, 10. And high frequency signal is having less magnitude only two. Okay. Here we have combined. This is my function. Okay. And that we have plotted. Now see the waveform. This is waveform. So basically it is a low frequency signal. This low frequency part is for sign of 0 0.02 pi n. And because of this one, this high frequency component, you will have certain undulation here. Okay. Right. Now sing function. For sing function, it is sine of omega n upon omega. Okay. So here it is sine of 0 0.1 pi n upon 0 0.1 pi n and 0 0.1 1 upon 0 0.1 is 10 that I have considered here. So it is 10 times sine of 0 0.1 pi n upon pi n. That signal will plot it. This signal this is a signal. So range I have considered minus 40 to plus 40. Okay. And here one, this is the important thing. You can note. Now you see when n equal to 0. So sometimes, so it will start from minus 40 to plus 40. So when n equal to 0, then sine of 0 upon 0, that form will come. So you in MATLAB, you will get NAND function. Okay. So that function will not show. So magnitude is not showing. But if you take limiting case, then sine x by x, 
x tends to 0, you will find 1. So this value will become 1 at n equal to 0. So that we need to assign it. So what we will do? This function here, so this uh, at n equal to 0, it is missing small n equal to 0. Okay. So that thing we will do. So this is small n is a vector quantity. It start from minus 40 to plus 40. So when n equal to 0 means so this range, this small n, if I start, so in MATLAB, it will start from 1 only, indices, 1, 2, 3, all those things. So at n plus 1, n1 plus 1, that point, its value should be assigned to 1. So this is required, otherwise you may not get the, you will not get the sample at that point in, in 1 plus 1. Okay, means small n equal to 0. So you see the waveform. So this one, so this is at zero, and that sample will be missing if you don't include this part. Okay, if I include this one, this sample is also shown here. So you see both sides it is decreasing, the sine wave, but amplitude is reducing, it is going towards zero. So this is your sync function. So we can draw several kind of signals with the help of this kind of MATLAB command. I hope you have got the concept and if you like this video, you may subscribe the channel if you want to get more such videos. And please like this video if you, if you have enjoyed this one. Thank you very much.